Hi friends, it's Julia. Today I am playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches round number 7. Today is day number 26. This one is a bit of a tougher challenge for me. It has the hex, the photos cut into hexagon shapes as well as a couple other hexagons here and then it has lots of paper piecing along the background, an embellishment cluster over here, some floral embellishments and clips, and maybe a tag in a hexagon shape, as well as some mixed media portion here, as well as another cluster down here. This one's difficult in that I'm not going to cut my photos into hexagons. I'm not going to cut my tag into hexagons. I may cut some background paper into hexagon shapes, but that's something I'll decide as I go along. So, what I've done is I've pulled out a couple of photos. I'm going to use two photos, and I have both of those here. And then I have all these scraps of paper that I have brought in. Uh, small ones, large ones, but they're all 12 inches in length. Um, with the exception of this one, I believe. And they're from... Uh, all the different kits that I have added in so far. I brought a piece of cardstock in only to map my photos. And then this one I had already cut down. This background paper here is a Hello Again paper from Echo Park. And then this one is an SEI uh, that I cut in half. Not in half. But I cut a portion off already only to um, use on a... Um, background here and I had already taped the background down before I realized oh I didn't do the the first part of this video so this one I will use to put up in the corner and then build from there I have also pulled in some washi strips that I'm going to use somehow or other um, and I don't know as far as other embellishments I don't know what I'm going to use if I'm going to use tags or um, cork or dimensional stickers or chipboard or washi strips or cut aparts I don't know I don't know what I'm going to use to go with this because like I said this one was a more difficult one for me based on the hexagonal shapes here anyway give me a minute I'll show you a close-up of the sketch you can pause the video and play along if you like um, or head over to Christie's Beautiful Life uh, Facebook group and play along there or uh, on Instagram you can play along there whichever way you decide to do anyway I'll show you a close-up and I will be back with what I create in just a minute okay friends I am done with layout number 26 this is a sketch for uh, or by scrap friends uh, I think it's the blog that it came from. It's a .com, scrapfriends.com. I'm not sure who the designer is. But anyway, the design had a couple of photos. It had an embellishment cluster here, multiple pattern papers in the background, a little cluster here, a little cluster here. Looks like some doilies and some paint splatters or uh, e enamel dots, something. So what I did was I went through my stash and I pulled in paper and washi tape. I had five different rolls of washi tape that I added in and I had a ton of scraps left over that I pulled in. These are the only scraps that I did not use. There's three pieces here. I could have used them, but for whatever reason, I didn't. So these will go back into my kit to create another layout with. This stripe paper, which this is the back of, I've used a ton. Um, and I used a little bit more here on this layout. This ba or, um, turquoise color, I've used a ton of as well. And so I have a little bit left on here. I had cut off a circle, but I wanted to save that to punch out um, like a tab or something. So I have this piece that will go back into my stash. And these are scraps. So I have the cardstock that I did cut into to create a photo mat. It's going back into my stash. This piece, I had that's where I started. I'd cut a portion of this off to use on one corner, and this is what I have left of that. And these are the smaller pieces of uh, scrap paper that I have left over. All of this will go into my stash to use up at some other point. I did use both of these sets of letters, the large and the small. Uh, I did use a portion of this wreath. 
I did use the stars from here and this uh, uh, sticker here that said love you. I used the last wonky heart from this size so this set of, of chipboard is completely used up. On this one I still have a circle and two larger pieces that I need to figure out how to use. But I'll keep plugging along at it until I can get them used up. This sticker sheet I did use a fray sticker um, and I think that's it from here. One here. It had some sort of saying, but I don't remember what right now. And I did use all five of my washi tapes. So here is the layout that, oh, let me show you the enamel dots. I used some from here, some from here, and some from here. And now this is the layout that I created. A little different than the original layout, but you can see I have um, a cluster here with my title on the bottom. I have a cluster here at the top. I have two photos, even though they're not cut in hex a hexagon shape and they're not set on there at a wonky angle, it still works to have it like this. There was a cluster almost on top of this. I just shifted it around to the side, so I have a cluster here with a little bit of journaling down here. So let me give you a close-up of what I created and you can see all those paper layers with the washi tape here. There's three washi tapes here. Another washi tape here. There's three, four, and five washi tapes. Here's this cluster here. Another cluster. And finally the title cluster. It's mini golf competition. And that I took uh, um, a branding strip that had the line, the Echo Park Hello Again line, and I just fussy cut that out to create this. And those hearts, in the turquoise hearts in each collection are actually from here. What was left over from the people piecing, paper piecing down on the bottom. So that's layout number 26. It's a done deal. It's ready to go into the album. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys watching my video. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, and don't forget there are close-ups at the end of the video. If you want to see more layouts that I have created during this series, you can go over to my YouTube channel to the playlist called hashtag 30DSCBL7 and you will find all the layouts for this series. Anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.